do I move my things to Dominican Republic? Oh, 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 I know, I know. Watch this video. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you like Dominican culture, learning how to cook some Dominican food, learning a little Spanish, just see a little fashion, you are at the right place. So welcome. And if you would like to support my channel, go ahead and join my Patreon page. And if you want to know more about Dominican culture, go ahead and download my free ebook, Another Day in Paradise, The Beginner's Guide to Dominican Republic at norferisart.com. And on today's video, we are discussing if you are ready to move to the Dominican Republic, how to move your belongings. So let's get started. So before you completely move to Dominican Republic or any other country, try to keep this in mind before you move all your belongings. There are many people that move the entire household to find out that they are homesick and want to go back and they find themselves wanting to move everything back. So my advice is to move the light as you can with some extra bags until you are completely sure that you are ready to move permanently. Once you make the decision to move permanently to the Dominican Republic, deciding the things that you want to bring and what to buy in the country is the next step. Things to consider are whether if you can ship your items tax free or if you can get it cheaper locally or if you even need it at all. For example, heater. You know that you don't need no heater in a country like Dominican Republic. Renting homes in Dominican Republic doesn't come with big appliances like microwave, dishwasher, refrigerator, stove, wash machine, and dryer. I recommend to leave those big items at home and buy it locally. Due to the fact that you will have warranty if you buy them locally, it will, it will be easier for you to repair them. And also, like if you have electrical stuff, do it to the power average in Dominican Republic is recommended to leave it at home and just buy one gas in Dominican Republic. AC are very expensive in the local market in the Dominican Republic. So if you have an AC that you can bring, that will be useful. But make sure that your air conditioner is in better. Regular uh, window style air condition is not recommended to bring to the Dominican Republic due to the fact that how the house are made in the Dominican Republic. Now, if you are you, you have your own house, probably you can because you will have to break the wall to install an AC like that. Also, if you have ceiling fans, they are recommended to bring to the Dominican Republic because they will be very helpful to help the air circulate. If you are a resident, or a citizen of Dominican Republic, if you are ready to retire, you can ship your household goods tax-free. One thing to keep in mind when shipping your household goods to the Dominican Republic is that you have that you have tax-free when you're shipping your used items. Let's say that you own your household goods for two or more years. That those are the rules. But to be honest, they don't have a way to know that you just that you own that TV for two years or you just bought it from the store right the same day. So the one thing that you need to make sure is that when you're declaring your items in the forms, you need to put that those are used items and not new. If you ship new items to Dominican Republic, you will be expected to pay taxes when they are brought to the Dominican Republic. Now, for you to get tax-free, if you are a citizen of Dominican Republic, you will have to show proof that you have been living outside of the country for more than one year. If you are not a citizen of Dominican Republic, if you want to take advantage of this, for a provisional visa, you will need the following items, and you can look more into it. But the items that you will need are birth certificate, marriage certificate if it's applicable, medical exam, and photocopy of your passport. Here are some items that are prohibited to ship to Dominican Republic. Drugs, weapons and ammunition, firearm, and explosive and pornographic material such as uh, videos and prints. An invoice with a list of your items from a Dominican consulate will be required for you to ship uh, your cargo. If you ship your cargo without this invoice, or if you ship from a country that doesn't have a Dominican consulate, you will have to pay a fee of $400. So what do you do when your items arrive to the Dominican Republic? Here are some regulations that may be applicable. You must be in the Dominican Republic to receive your items. All documents that you submit, they must be original. You will be required to do a physical examination prior to applying for a 
Department of Exoneration for the to receive your items. Only one shipment is allowed for you to be able to take advantage of the Dory Free. You will have to prove that your items are used. All new items will be subjected to pay taxes. All Dominican citizens will be allowed to one-time exemptions if they have lived abroad for more than one year. Now, if you are interested in bringing your pets to the Dominican Republic, here is what you need to know. You can bring your cats and dogs to the Dominican Republic, but a certificate of health is required 15 days prior to arrival. They must be vaccinated against rabies within one month and less than a year prior to arrival. Now, keep in mind, it's no quarantine period for cats and dogs. But if you bring in birds, they will be quarantined for 10 days. Now, let's talk about if you return to the Dominican Republic and you want to ship your car. Here is some of the rules that you need to know. Only one vehicle is allowed per person. All vehicles must be registered and owned by the person for at least one year. If you are a citizen of Dominican Republic, he or she must have lived abroad for a minimum of two years. And you cannot ship luxury cars. Now, I'm not sure what they consider luxury. If you think that you have one, you may want to check with the uh, shipping company. They will let you know if your car is considered luxury or not. To ship your car to Dominican Republic, you will need the following documents and they all must be originals. The title must be certified in the Department of Vehicles and legalized by the nearest Dominican consulate. You will need a resident visa and the Dominican consular envoy is stamped by the nearest Dominican consulate. That is if you have a consulate in the country that you live. If you don't have one, then you will have to pay the fee that I told you previous that was $400. And you will need a license plate and, and your passport. Now, those are the requirements if you are retiring to the Dominican Republic and you want to ship your vehicle. The prices of shipping of your vehicle, you can, uh, it can vary depending on the size of the vehicle, but it can start anywhere from a thousand dollars because I have verified that information personally. And also it's depending where you're shipping your car or your items from. And for your household goods, I cannot give you a price because they actually have to see how many uh, items you have to give you a price. On that, I don't have a start a start of point. You will have to check with your uh, shipping company. Now, let's talk about shipping your car when you are non-resident or citizen of Dominican Republic. The cost to ship your vehicle will be the same. It, got, it can start anywhere from a thousand dollars, depending on the make and model, and it depends on where you're shipping your vehicle from. Things to keep in mind when you're shipping your vehicle are that you cannot ship a vehicle that is older than five years and if your vehicle is manufactured in the U.S., the tax that you will pay in the Dominican Republic will be less. Some of the documents to ship your car as a non-resident will be almost the same as the previous mentioned when you are retiring to the Dominican Republic. And here are some of the documents that you will need. Some of the documents that you will need, if your vehicle is new, you will need a commercial invoice. If you have a used car, you will need, you will need the title of your car. And you will need a boarding document, the boarding documentation and a custom dec declaration. If your vehicle was manufactured in the United States, you will need a title in order to take advantage of the tax benefit. So what is included in your shipping cost? It includes freight and insurance charges. It includes transport, storage, and delivery charges after your vehicle arrives. It also includes duties, taxes, and fees, and other charges such as custom agent fees. After your vehicle arrives, you will be required to show some of the following documents. You will need a copy of the single customs declaration and you will also need original, the original child of the country or where you buy your vehicle. And the last thing that you will need is a manufacturer certification. When your vehicle arrives to the Dominican Republic, it will be subject to pay the following tax and duties. And here is the breakdown. You will be required to pay the 20% of the CIF value. And if your car is manufactured in the United States, that tax will be 0%. You also will be required to pay Dominican tax, which is it is 18% of the CIF value for all makes and models. There is also an emissions tax, but it's depending on the CO2 emissions of the car. Here is another way that you can ship items to the Dominican Republic. Items such as like food, 
clothing, shoes, household items, but items that are not electronic because electronics, you will have to pay taxes. And this way you can use the same company that you would use to ship like you, you, you household goods and you would ship your car. The same company do this kind of shipping. And this one we call, when we send boxes, and barrel, you probably hear a lot of people saying that you ship barrel to the Dominican Republic and the cost on this one would be depending on the size. Like for example, I do this all the time, be sending boxes to my mom in the Dominican Republic, I send, I send her clothes and food. And it's also going to depend on where in the US you are sending your boxes. Uh, for example, here from Florida, I use I normally send uh, boxes that are 18 by 18 by 18, and the cost of sending this box is $70. And then when the box arrives there, it, it is two door to door service, meaning they come here to my house, they pick it up, and they take it to my mom's door in the Dominican Republic, and no additional cost. And you don't have to pay anything when it's arrived to the Dominican Republic. You pay it here or you can pay it when the box arrives in the Dominican Republic. And like I said, you can chip in that box. You can put, you can mix it up and send it all in the same box. Choose food, clothing, anything that you want to ship, but except electronics. And like I said before, it's depending on the size. They have 18 by 18 by 18 is the smallest one. And then they have 24 by 24. And they also have the barrel. Like if you want to prevent your goods from being damaged, you can use the barrel if they have it for, I think from here it would be a hundred dollars. Now I used to send it when I was living in Alabama, in Huntsville, but the, they don't have this kind of company in Huntsville. So they used to have to travel from Atlanta to Huntsville and the price was even high, higher. It was, I had to pay a hundred, I think it was a hundred and twenty dollars to ship from Huntsville. The smallest box, 18 by 18 by 18. So it depends on where you're located here in the United States and also the size of your box will be the price that you will be that you will be paying. And it's a door-to-door -door service. Here are examples the two boxes that I'm sending to the Dominican Republic at this moment. And the smallest, the smallest one, which is 18 by 18, is $70. And the other one is the medium size. Yeah, I'm paying $80 for the second one. That is all I have right now for shipping to the Dominican Republic. If you have any other experience shipping to the Dominican Republic that you would like to let us know, or if you would like to ask about something else that you are trying to ship to the Dominican Republic, leave a comment down below. And that is all I have for today. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Thank you.